Well, we are traveling now to Kibera. That is a sprawling slum in the heart of the Kenyan capital city of Nairobi. It was the scene of some of the worst violence after the country's 2007 disputed elections. But a campaign to promote peace is now underway, and it's all through art. Ebru Today's Erin Aid tells us more. So this is a campaign to promote peace? Exactly, at a time where they're, they're quite scared given that the elections are today, in fact. And following Kenya's 2007 elections, Nairobi, excuse me, neighbors turned against each other in the Nairobi area of Kaibera. While police there were accused of using brutal force to quash protests, artist Joel Bergner recently visited the region and is doing something to change the current environment in Kaibera. The project, known as Kaibera Walls for Peace, aims to encourage unity and cooperation between ethnic and political groups ahead of Kenya's presidential election scheduled for today. Kaibera, one of Africa's largest slums, was strongly affected by the violence and political turmoil that engulfed Kenya after the last election. And preventing a repeat of this crisis is the group's main objective. This project is called the Kibera Walls for Peace Project. And the, the main goal of this project is that we have a, a group of youth, both children and also teenagers, who are studying peace building. And specifically peace building related to the, this election uh, period that we're in right now because there's a lot of violence surrounding the election um, as there was the last election and now people are worried it's going to happen again. The type of idea of what we're going to be doing. We have to think of some really important, big, strong images, but then everyone gets to do their little part also. Youngsters in Kibera are studying peace building and art and are participating in the design and creation of a series of public murals as well as performing music, dance, acrobats, and poetry recitals. John Adoli, a 14-year-old schoolboy who was unable to attend classes for two months, hopes he can continue his education and that the elders in Kibera can vote peacefully. In 2007, many suffered, especially the children, as many were not able to attend school and many became homeless. So what we are doing here is to paint in the hope that 2013 won't see a repeat of violence. Bergner has developed a technique he calls expressive group painting, in which a chaotic background is created with everyone's creative expressions, from abstract splatters to poetry to drawings and handprints all of which is then incorporated into a main imagery of the mural. Bergner's approach to public art that he calls journalistic mural art sees him extensively research his topics, often conducting interviews in order to tell the stories of those who were, who were affected by the violence and whose voices are often not heard, such as the refugees and survivors of domestic violence.